Hello there, kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the true first episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty. Uh, when we left off, I was attempting to make a character archetype that would have worked for the later games, but for this game, it didn't actually need to be done that way because there's a lot more freedom in the character creator than I was led to believe. So... We're going to go with Stray in this particular instance. Now, I know the name might confuse you. Um, this is hidden backstory stuff for Stray Cat. That wasn't what his birth name was. It was a name he chose for himself after his very unconventional childhood. <laughs> uh, he picked up the name Stray Cat and it kind of stuck with him. Because uh, for a while that was what he was he was an orphan um his true birth name was tomas that's how it's spelled so there you all go now you have a little bit more backstory into how stray cat is now uh, i did most of the character creation off camera because i didn't want to waste another episode of me messing with the character creator but i think i'm gonna adjust something real quick um, namely in the cheeks area. Why did it go all the way back to shallow? I didn't want that. There we go. That's what I wanted. A little more fuller in the cheeks like I am. The cheekbone problem I can't seem to get rid of. Oh well. Um, bring it down. Bring that a little more out. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Maybe cut the uh, width back a bit. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, now that that's taken care of, now we can officially start as Stray Cat, or Tomas, which was his actual name before his childhood went horribly, horribly awry. Okay, so, go to next. Um, we add another point to strength. We're going to do essentially the build that we did with uh, Tyrong when we were doing him, but a little differently. Um... For that, that'll be good. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much I'm going to change, though, to be honest. Um, for dual weapon fighting styles, it demands high dexterity. Um, so I might add a point into that. Um, since strength contributes to melee attack accuracy as well as damage i'm probably going to have to spend them evenly between dexterity and strength which means i'm going to have to work on some of the base stats a little more so um for willpower i guess it'd be good to add a point into there too keep these probably at 11 and I think I'm just going to make uh, strength and dexterity even. So, here's hoping this works out for the plan I try to do. All right. Um, point to spend in skills. I, um, hmm. I'm not sure. Do I want... I think I just want to do it in the tactics again. But I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Um, look, stealing. Yeah, that's, that's not something we need. Technically, even though that is something uh, Stray Cat picked up uh, during his unconventional childhood. Um... For now... I guess herbalism would be useful. I guess we can go that route. Yeah, let's go that route. And uh, sword and board, obviously, is a standard choice for warriors. But we're going to go dual weapon. Uh, requires combat training, which I already have uh, somewhere in here. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> it's probably in the last last thing. Um, yeah, let's put that there. Dual weapon finesse. It's 
extremely skilled at wielding a weapon in each hand, gaining bonuses to attack and defense, which would be nice. Um, probably would be a good idea, though, to allow for an ability rather than just passives all the time. But uh, at least I have that available to me should I uh, next go into it. Um... Dual striking is a sustained thing. Uh, when in this mode, the character strikes with both weapons simultaneously, attacks cause more damage, but the character cannot inflict regular critical hits or backstabs. So that's just a sustained thing going on. That's an ability you can toggle, from the way I understand how sustained works. Um, and activated is an ability that you have to press the button to do, if I understand it correctly. Um... I think I'm going to go for a sustained, just because it'll help a little bit. Okay. It's so now become more proficient in fighting with two weapons, and now deals closer to normal damage bonus with the offhand weapon. Okay, fair enough. So this would give me bonuses. This just allows me to have at least a decent amount of damage with the offhand. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. I think I'm going to put on the sustained one. Uh... For most players, yeah, obviously I'm going to keep it on normal still. Summon bear. Alrighty, that's a thing. For generations, your it. family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. Alrighty. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. Sounds I about right. I trust that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the South has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the King a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least good. the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop. I didn't see you there. Must How? you keep you calling me Pop? Son. I see you. I'm, I'm never going to get used to that. Man. Pleased uh -huh. to see you again, lad. Thank you. Uh, is your family here, Arl How? Oh no, I left them in Amaranthine, well away from the fighting in the south. They do send their best wishes. Good. To My know. daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Oh. Uh, to what end? Ha! To what end, he says, and so glib. <laughs> the boy's a whip like his father. Uh -huh. See what I contend with, Hal? You can't tell my fierce boy anything these days, make her bless his heart. Absolutely. <laughs> temperament to match his fighting skill. Well done, your lordship. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother you, and I are both away, you like away, to call me Cat at least once, please? Of the be nice. Be very nice. Uh, I'll do my best, Father. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone yeah, you must meet. Yeah, a little bit. Please, show Duncan in. <laughs> the hell is that little salute? Pah! It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely mm -hmm. have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Uh, yeah. They defeated the Darkspawn long ago. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. 
Fair Duncan enough. is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. Mm. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Really? Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Uh, is there a reason I shouldn't? You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I doubt I have to be here for that, do I? Well... Of course. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Uh, but I'd like to try, I'd like to stay and talk to Duncan. You'll have Just to find out what he means. We must discuss the battle plans in the south. Be All a right. good lad and do as I've asked. Well, at least talk you didn't soon. call me a pup there. All right. Alrighty. So, let's go. There we go. I have the, uh, Shield for now. Fortunately, I don't have a choice in the matter. At least for right now, maybe? Do I have an equip screen? I do. Somewhere. There we go. Currently equipped items are highlighted in blue. Okay. Use the left stick to change categories. And Okay. Fair enough. Um, let's throw a dagger in the... Uh, Offhand there. There we go. That'll work. Can I spin him around a little bit? Uh, swap weapons. Oh! You just swapped weapon sets. Use the inventory screen to equip weapons to the desired set. Oh. Huh. Good to know. Huh. Cool. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, studded, studded, studded. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be the starter armor that I can't really get rid of until I get the good shit. Which will be later. Alrighty. Fair enough. Wanted to make sure. That is a long ass dagger. That might as well be called a short sword. Holy shit. Yeesh. Good evening, my lord. Okay. Good evening. Anything over here? What the? Mother. Mother Malal. There's also a thing over here. Whoa, that's a hell of a graphic. But I'm dressed, I guess. Uh, the Chant of Light, the Blight. Okay. The Codex is what will tell me about the game. Keep me in the know. Evening, my lord. Evening? That's not really evening. Evening, my lord. Mother Malal. Oh! Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all. Why does that look Can like it's mainly cowering? Your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Uh, I would appreciate that. Please, child. Call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Okay. Creator of Fair the enough. sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Make her watch over us. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Make her forgive us all. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many Sounds more good. who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. Can do. I should go anyway. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. Sounds good. Shall do. All right. The Maker. All right. And... They were in here. It's nothing more I can really do in that respect. I believe the arrow is pointing me in the direction of where I should be going. 
And here I am in oh, here. Oh, my lord, we were just, uh... Uh, taking a break. Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. All right. Did my father fear someone would steal something? I don't know. Nobody has come to look at the treasury. Uh, who has the key to the treasury? The Tern, and perhaps the Tanner. I honestly don't know, my lord. All right. I'll forget about it. This time. Yes, my lord. Thank you. We won't forget this. Good. You shouldn't. Alright. Now, let's, uh... Oh, there's the treasury. Okay. I can't do that. Yep. Not allowed to do that. Oh, Wanted to get one of the weapons off here. Damn it. Guess I'm not allowed to. Oh, and if the door's open, you can just phase right through it like it's... Nothing. I guess. It's good to know. At least it doesn't get you stuck in place like that. Alright, so. Oh. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Alright, sounds good. Uh. I understand why you uh, wouldn't want to uh, interrupt. Uh, hello to you, too. <laughs> hello to you, too, Sir Gilmore. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. Have you? I fear your oh, hound you. has the kitchens in uproar once again. Again? He's threatening to leave. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Ah, uh, gotta love the dogs. Always doing something shenanigan-wise. Also, you are gorgeous. Hello. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, she was my nanny before she was the cook. Nan won't leave. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. Okay. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. <laughs> he knows better than to hurt anyone. I'm not willing to test that. Fair enough, You're quite I lucky guess. to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. <laughs> of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears yeah. he confounds her just to amuse himself. Probably. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Oh, so I guess you're going to have to, uh, follow me around then. Alright. First party member! Okay. Uh, I need to talk to my brother first. Your mother was quite specific. Unless the castle is under attack, you get that dog before doing anything else. Her words, not mine. Damn it. Uh, before we go, my lord, might I beg a question? Okay. I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? Uh, yes, it is. The name is Duncan. I met him. Then, is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? Uh, I really don't have time to gossip. He intends to test you for recruitment. Maker's breath. Are you certain? Can you imagine me, a Grey Warden? It would be everything I've dreamed of. Of course, really? I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Pardon my outburst. That's all right. I understand. You're excited. Excited as hell. I get it. I get it. Uh, Squires and Alduis, I guess. Books. History of Ferelden. Oh, I know Ferelden. I know Ferelden from two. Okay. Alduis. Hello, my dear boy. Hello. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Oh, really? Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Oh, shut up. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. Still the same taskmaster, I see. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. True. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? I mean, I'm quite familiar with the subject matter. Perhaps you could make the topic more palatable for these lads and their minuscule intellects. Nice way to say they're fucking stupid kids. <laughs> fair enough. Alright, uh, I doubt that's possible, but I mean, very well. Wonderful. Right. Oh, the Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Well, uh, when was our line founded? Well, records are vague. But the Kuslans became Tierns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Uh, yeah, I remember something about an age in there. Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. 
Yep. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves so reached this minor, area, okay. Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. Uh, we predate the founding of the kingdom, yes. Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between Oi! your ears, young man. Boy, Your lecturing does lead to yawning. A pity you don't spend the same care whetting the edge of your mind as your tongue. Well, At any rate, I mean... your family has held the tournier of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. Oh. Uh, and Kalanad let us keep the tournier. Kalanad wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalanad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. Uh, we oppose the king. I mean, from the sound of it from the beginning, it sounded like we were buddy-buddy with the king originally, so. Or at least at the time of this game, so what, what changed there? The Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanad was unknown. And considered dangerous by many. All right. That's when fair. Kalanad's army reached High Ever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalanad won. Uh, tell us our relationship with Arl Howe. The history between the Kuslans and the Howes reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. Uh, when did Orlais occupy uh, Howe? Uh, <laughs> fucking my. Fucking mouth does not want to cooperate today. When did Orlais occupy High Ever? During your grandfather's rule. Of course, Orlay found it difficult to hold Orlai. these lands. Orlay. During Fine. the rebellion against Orlay, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harper's Too many Ford was the town center. Its Arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Sounds your right. grandfather openly supported the rebellion. But how sided with Orlay? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. But my father and Arl Howe are old friends. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Ah, time to end the lesson, I think. Uh, thank you for... Indulging an old man. You're welcome. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? <laughs> Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. I mean, you, perhaps you, you should go. They picked it up from me. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. <laughs> for all the good that'll so do. Old <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. Sometimes that's just how it is when you're uh, teaching kids. Ooh, I'm going here. Uh, book. Cultural Ferelden. And some of these words are going to test my mouth something fierce because my mouth does not particularly like. Good evening, my lord. Some of the weird, goofy shit I'm gonna have to talk about in this game. Okay, let's go through the door here. Is there anything in here that I can pick up some XP from? No? Okay, well, I tried. Oh, I guess the uh, mission objective is that way. But there's something over here. Iona? And my dear Bryce oh. brought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. <laughs> ah, here is my son, along with Sir Gilmore. Tell me, Sir Gilmore, has my pup collared that dog yet? Not just yet, your ladyship. Darling, do take care of that. That malodorous hound of yours is an excellent protector, but he drives Nan to distraction. Uh, pff, perhaps we need a new cook. Uh, Father sent me to talk to Fergus. I'm not asking you to travel to the moon. The kitchen is just around the corner. 
Well, so I mean, we'll see that it gets I, done. I can only do so many things. Good. Mama? With any luck, I'll be able to feed my God, it's like I'm talking to my own mother. Week. Darling, you remember Lady Landra? I think we love her at your mother's spring salon. Uh, weren't you drunk? I'm so proud of my pup's mastery of tact and diplomacy. <laughs> Hell, it was a lovely salon, from what little I remember. <laughs> Which wouldn't be much, considering we had to pour you into the carriage afterwards. <laughs> you remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. Oh, ah, yeah. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And you. You're being, bo you're being modest. You fought very well. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. Doesn't I sound like she, uh... things about you. She, she doesn't Eleanor. sound like a... I believe the girl has a crush on you, <laughs> Lady Landra. Hush, don't, Landra. don't. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. <laughs> I can handle my own affairs, thank you. <laughs> All evidence to the contrary. Hey. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. That sounds good. I guess I'll see you all there later. your lordship. Sir Gilmore. Alright. I guess they're gonna go do their own thing and I'm just gonna... I dare say I can hear Nan shouting from here. Perhaps if you hurry, you can keep her from having a fit. Alright, alright, fine, fine. Where the hell is the kitchen? So I can keep Nan from killing my dog. I can't do that. Fuck! We'd best get to the kitchens before Nan decides to up and leave, don't you think? You know what your mother would say. Yeah, I know. I thought that was the door. I'm trying to follow the thing. Seems to be like 19 different arrows now. Yes, I'm exaggerating. I don't care. Alright. I guess we should go this way. Oh! Yep. Sounds like my dog Get is that having a... bloody mutt out of the larder. <laughs> but mistress, it won't let us near if I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I hey, don't no need, no need to be oh, racist. Hell, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Whoa, would you calm down, Manan? Maybe you should lock your larder tighter. Oh, ho, 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 that last one. Oh, oh, that's rude. He's not a mongrel. He's a pure blood Mabari. A blight wolf is what he is. How am I supposed to work like this? Oh, dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. We'll get the dog. Calm down. Just, Just get bit. him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. Yeah, You yeah, two, yeah. stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Would you stop the racist shit, please? Come on, they're just... They're servants trying to help you. You don't need to be rude. God damn, you crotchety old bitch. Trust his tits. Hey! Doggo! What, what are you barking oh, at? Look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Good question. This big, adorable doofus. <laughs> oh, yes. Are you trying to tell me something? Uh, seems like maybe. He does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait. Did you hear that? A little? Oh! Oh, I can name the dog! Oh, I can name the dog! Okay. All right. I didn't plan this far ahead. Uh, shit. Uh... Man, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think. I didn't think on this. I didn't realize that that would be a thing I would probably have to do. Ah, okay. Um. Urgh. I don't know. Also, <laughs> look at my fucking gamer tag from the 360. <laughs> from the 360 days. Oh, boy. Uh. God, God. Uh, fuck it. Let's go with something weird. Call him Piff. Fuck it. 
Call him Piff. Look out. Oh! Oh! That's why he was in here. He was chasing a bunch of rats. Okay. Press A to attack the current target. X, Y, and B will trigger associated move or spell. Alright, good to know. Okay, this will open the combat uh, wheel for potions. Quick heal. Quick heal will use the most appropriate uh, potions. Holds all healing items. Got it. All right. Yeah, better than later. All right. All right. I'll get on it. There we go. Ladder, so you can get off my back. Now, better than later. I'll get on it. All right. All right. <laughs> See. Is he getting Giant pissy? Rats. It's like the start of I'm telling him to do things. My grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after. And he was mentioning old RPG tropes, killing rats originally. <laughs> Most games. Uh, sounds like the start of bad adventures my grandfather used to tell. Considering how old those things are, yeah, sounds about right. Ah, uh, those were very large rats. Maybe it was just a coincidence. <laughs> so my hound put me in danger. Great. Yeah, it certainly looks that way. Those were rats from the Kokari Wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. Oh. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Okay. I guess. Well. <laughs> we lost Gilmore, but we got Piff. How's it going, Piff? Deep mushroom. When you eat that, you get real deep real fast. Whoa, man. Okay. So we killed all the rats. All the rats are dead. That was why Piff was losing his shit, because there was a bunch of rats. Hey, man. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Nope. Actually, he was defending your larder from rats. Big ones. What? Rats? Not the large gray ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will. See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could have sworn. I could have sworn I muted my computer. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let me fix that now. Okay, there we go. I... Yeah, my faithful warhound made sure it's safe. Oh. I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Would you stop it? That's not what he did, and you know it. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. But you're being mean. Here then. Take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. There you go. You have a soft spot for the pooch. Now we can get to work. Sounds That's right, good. you two. Quit standing about. All right. Y'all okay? We will serve you while the Terran is away. We will serve you well while the Terran is gone. That's good to hear. Thank you again for your help. Now, if you'll just hold on a moment. Yes? Uh, do you know what... Adney, get moving with those casts. And Kath, do you think you can serve that to the Terran with dirt from the floor all over it? Miserable old bat. Oh, bat am I? We've got to work double time on supper. Sweep out the hearths and no complaining. Uh, I'm definitely not using the second one. Uh, busy day. Just keeping order. That's why your father keeps me on. The good maker knows I needn't take care of you anymore. Thank you for coming to your old nanny's rescue. That blasted hound is more trouble than he's worth. He is. He is not. Uh, don't start with me. You've gotten all you're getting today. But what about you, my lord? Been keeping safe and well behaved, I hope. Well, I mean, when it's convenient. To be truly good is doing right by others, even when it doesn't suit you. True. Do you remember that bedtime tale I used to tell you? The dog that bit? Uh, not this again. Yes, this again. You remember how it begins? Uh, once upon a time there was a dog and he bit somebody. In the dark and murky world there was a smelly cook. Uh... Before our father's fathers came down from the mountains. A warhound was born to the elder bitch of a tribal chief. They named him Hahaku and gave him everything. He grew up a fine, strong pup, destined to be the partner of the chief's eldest son. 
The dog found the idea tedious. The young hound became arrogant, taking food from his kin and warning them, in the way of dogs, that the chief's family would punish them if they tried to attack him. Years passed, and the time for the chief's son to take a warhound came closer. Hahaku's pride swelled, and many of the people of the tribe came to the chief, quietly whispering of this dog's bullying. With each complaint, the chief saw only Hahaku's strength and pride, and sent his people away. But as his son grew, the chief watched more closely. The day might come when his boy's life would depend on this dog. If the humblest of his people would not trust Hahaku, how could he? So he made a weaker dog his son's partner. Wait, that one sounds more right. Hohaku's own misdeeds bit him. When the day came, Hahaku sat proudly waiting to be called. But the old chief chose Hahaku's brother as his son's hound. Hahaku was shamed, but felt no remorse. So great was his rage that he darted across the fire pit and bit the chief's hand. A bold move. That was a mistake. The chief and his son struck at Hahaku, cursing him. The hound ran into the village, seeking shelter in the tents and kennels. The other dogs snapped at him, and the tribe's people threw stones at him. Before the chief could reach him, the tribe had torn Hahaku apart. Yeesh. Now, what should you carry from this tale? Yeesh! Yeesh. No one is above justice. Old nurses tell boring stories. Uh, <laughs> you treat the least is remembered by the greatest. True. Hahaku thought nothing of abusing the tribe and their dogs, but their complaints showed the chief he could not be trusted. But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you to watch how you behave, hmm? Uh, you aren't comparing my Mabari to Hohaku, are you? It's a story worth repeating. That's all. Be all off right. with you then. Tell your brother farewell before he rides off to war. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. That was a thing. Alright, I think it's time to end this episode because, uh, well, we've dragged on a little longer than I intended. Also, that story dragged on a little longer than I intended. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and... Starting out with the actual character of this tale, Stray Cat, otherwise known as Tomas, and uh, learning a bit more about how the game's going to play, and uh, <laughs> that my character will tell me off if I'm uh, controlling him a little too much, which, uh, to be fair, I kind of have to control him a little bit <laughs> for you.